In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install GIMP onto your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're not too sure what GIMP is, it's a free to use photo editing program that allows you to edit your images, your pictures, and you can create pretty cool stuff within it. So unlike Paint, it's a little more advanced. You can even add layers and other things as well. So it's definitely worth installing onto your computer. So the first thing that you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you'll then end up on a page that looks like this. So you will now see a download button. You need to go ahead and click onto this button and you then need to click on download GIMP directly. And once the setup file has finished downloading, go ahead and run it. You will now have the option to either install GIMP just for yourself or for all users on your Windows computer. So I'm actually going to select install for all users. You now need to select your language and once you've selected it, click on OK. And you can now click on customize and you then need to agree to the terms if you do click on next and you can now choose where you'd like to install GIMP. So I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. Once you're happy with the destination that you've chosen, click on next. So you will now have some different options. So you can either do a full installation which will install everything for GIMP or you can do a compact installation. So I'm actually going to do a full installation as I want to have everything included that comes with GIMP. But if you are a bit low on hard drive space or you don't need all the other add-ons with GIMP, then go ahead and select compact. So once you're happy with the option you've selected, go ahead and click on next and you can then choose if you want to create a desktop shortcut. I'm happy to create one and then click on next again and then install. GIMP will now begin to install onto your Windows computer. Once the install has finished, go ahead and click on finish and now double click on the GIMP shortcut if you created one. If not, you will then be able to find it within your start menu. And there we go. As you can see, I now have GIMP running on my Windows computer. So that's how you install it onto Windows. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you do want to see more videos on how to do things within GIMP, then I will be doing a lot more videos on it. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more GIMP videos. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.